Today's math strategy video is on finding volume using unit cubes. So in our previous lessons, we've talked about how volume and area are related. So let's just kind of recap on that. So what do area and volume have in common? Well, they measure a given space. They use length and width. Um, they also, the measurement's determined by multiplication or repeated addition. So some of the main differences are that volume is going to measure a 3D object while area measures a 2D object. So that means that area is going to measure a flat space while volume is going to measure the inside, the space inside of an object. So let's look at a model. So this right here says, remember how we can use, um, how we can find volume by counting the number of unit cubes inside of an object. So we're going to think about that same concept, but we are going to talk about the number of layers that a figure has. So when we look at this, we have one layer right here at the bottom. And so I know that I have two, four, six, eight. I have eight um, of these little cubes. Eight cubes. Now I know that I can fit three sets of these because I can see here's one, two, three. So I have three layers of eight cubes. So I have eight times three, I have three layers. So that means 24 unit cubes can fit inside of here. Now, one misconception is that some students have is that they end up multiplying just by two. So they'll say, okay, well, I have eight and then I need one, two more layers and they do eight times two. But remember that you are going to be multiplying by the total number of layers that you need. Also, another way to think about this um, faster um, is to how to find this first layer. I've got one, two, I have two units over here by one, two, three, four. So a two by four. So two units here by four units, and it is three units high. And we'll talk about that in another lesson. Okay, so let's look at this example problem. It says Pedro has a storage box with a volume of 36 cubic feet. It says he knows that the box is four feet long and three feet wide. How high is the box? So this problem gives us two measurements down here. So we're able to find this very first layer. So it is a three by four. So three by four, that is gonna be 12, 12 cubes. Or in this sense, it's gonna be feet, and we'll talk about that, the measurement, just a second. So I have 12 cubes here. So I gotta think about like how many layers um, am I gonna fit in here? And luckily, this tells us the volume already. It says that the volume equals 36 feet cubed. So now remember in previous lessons how we had found volume, we just counted each unit. So now we're going to be looking at just layers. And so we have our first layer and we want to know how many layers are going to fit in that. And we have, we already know that we need to have 36. So I can think how many sets of 12 uh, 12 plus whatever plus whatever. How many of those do I need to equal 36? Or I can think of 12 times what number will equal 36? And this will tell me how many layers of this that I need. Well, I know that 12 times 3 is going to be 36. So that means that if I added up 12, 3 times 12 plus 12, plus 12, I would get 36. So that means that there needed to be three layers here, three layers in order to have 36 feet cubed. So how high is the box? It needs to be three feet in height. That is the end of today's math strategy video.